Welcome to the exit of the world famous San Diego Zoo. So over here used to be one of two places I knew that you could go on the spinny bar doors that only went one way. They were fun. You jump on one, you spin yourself around fast, you keep going, you jump off or you crack your fingers at the end where it goes under the other bar. Really cool. We took these out. The other ones were at the entrance to Mexico at the San Ysidro border crossing for, for pedestrians. And those aren't there anymore. So what we're going to do is walk from here, the exit, to the farthest possible parking spot. Let's see how long it takes. I'm going to have to keep checking on you because I think you might turn off. I kind of have to start you again. Will there be interesting things? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I'm, I'm thinking about leaving you down here so that this video is just of the sky and whatever's above my head. You think that'll be fun? Uh, I messed that up already. There's the lion. So over there is the front entrance. Now, some of you who are older might not recognize this as the entrance to San Diego Zoo, and neither do I. Because the entrance to the San Diego Zoo is the one that's shown in the beginning credits to the 1950s or 60s version of Dennis the Menace. Which means that Dennis the Menace lives here in San Diego. Look at all these beautiful people not wearing hats or carrying water or putting on sunscreen like they need to. That's an interesting thing. So, you should be able to see that like brown thing up in the air. And that used to be a person would sit up there and watch over in the zoo's parking lot. I don't know how long it's been since they do that, but I suspect they have cameras instead now. See that sky? That sky says all these people need to drink some water, and so do I. Guess how much water Bruce has right now? None. But luckily, he drank a bunch of coconut water earlier, so it's all good.
So you might notice some type of overhangs over some cars over there. Those are solar panels, and I don't know why they're just there. I forget why the zoo put them up other than solar panels are cool and provide energy and shade and junk. But they're only here. I don't understand. deeper than I've ever gotten into this parking lot. I think there's only like a handful of times that I've gotten past the freaking tower thing. And whenever that happens, I'm usually down one of these rows here. I would say there's a lot more cars than I expected, but there's not. I know this thing filled up. I just feel weird being this far out here. still blue. Wear some sunscreen. Native, native, an American Indian 
which is one of my friends who is American Indian says you're supposed to call them. Why don't we just be Canadian and call them First Nations? First Nations is a really great term. Crows symbolize wisdom. Yes. So instead of chasing crows off, always treat them ni ni nicely and thank them for being there and ask them, pretty please go away, don't eat my corn. There went a zoni. Here's a close up of my chin. So coming up on the farthest away cars, I can tell that this parking lot for the zoo is not exactly a rectangle. And I'm not going to switch the maps right now to try to figure it out. But it should be a car from that black truck to that RV over there. One of those is farthest away. And that took me 13 minutes to get to. So now you know. And as far as I can tell, this is halfway between Yupis and Zoo Drive. So I'm going to stop this, post it on YouTube, and see where it tells me this exactly is. It'll give me a place that it wants to give me as a place name. And that'll be funny. <sighs> Go away, B. I don't smell that good.